Good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> it is Tuesday, and I have been in school for just a little bit, um, but there was nobody at the copier because I was able to get here early. So I've been at the copier <laughs> copying some things for book clubs um, and getting those ready so I can start meeting some with some of those groups today after the kids sign up this morning. Um, it's raining outside, <laughs> which really stinks. I did stop at, um, what is it called? Chick-fil-A. Get me a yummy, yummy parfait. I love these. Now I'm all of a sudden thinking of Shrek. <laughs> Ogres are like onions. Why can't you be like parfait? Everybody love parfaits. That's right. Everybody love parfaits. Anyways, so I'm going to get some work done this morning. Hopefully I'll talk to you guys before the bell rings. I do have a meeting this morning at 8 o'clock. So I will be going to that shortly afterwards. Okay, it is the end of the day. And I'm really, really sorry that I have not talked to you. Um, there has been... Like, really busy day, basically. It hasn't been a bad day. It's actually been a really good day. I've got a lot of my DRAs done. Probably about half of my DRAs done. I'm going to do the other half um, tomorrow and Thursday and start doing, like, the bigger assessments for the comprehension piece um, Thursday and Friday. So, that's pretty much all I've been doing today. I honestly have not done anything else other than DRAs. Need to get those done this week. I did want to move on from, like, book tastings into our actual books, book groups like our actual book study groups um, and show you what it is that I do with my kids and how I actually get them started with book clubs so once the kids have actually signed up and they sign up using the outside door and I can show you that too so once they sign up on it <clears throat> then we will start pulling them for groups here's what it looks like so they signed up for those and they are um, ready to go. So everybody has signed up. I think I actually have, no, that's not true. I actually have two kids who need to sign up because they were not here today. So I can start actually pulling some of those groups, at least the groups that are already full. Um, so all six of those slots are already filled and they're ready to go. I can pull them as a group and I sit them down and I start giving them their actual packets. So this is the packet that I give them um, I did not cut out the tabs in this packet you can have it cut out as tabs I just chose not to do that for time saver my kids can cut it out I'm not gonna stress out about it though so what they'll do is we will fill out the title the author and then they will write their name there just to get their book club packets going then the next part of it is this part so here it is it talks about members they're gonna fill in all their members names and then we're gonna talk about promises to the group um, these are things expectations that everybody has for each other so what are they gonna promise to to each other some so ideas are that they're gonna show up that they're gonna read their book they're gonna have their work completed that they're gonna engage in a discussion that they're gonna use kind words those types of things that you just kind of want to lead that conversation and then have them write those here once we do that then we move on to the third page. Um, the second page has, oh, no, I haven't skipped. So, yeah, they move on to the second page. I accidentally put this one in front, so that's actually the third page. So, they move on to the second page, which is the planning page. This is the page that I actually sit down with them and complete it. So, the first thing that it says is date starting. So, we'll write the date of that first group. So we'll write that date for that day. So if I was to have that group today, then they would write today's date. Um, date finishing, I typically don't put a date like immediately. I will show you how I do that in a second. But then we go through and we answer some basic questions like how um, many pages are in your book? How many chapters are in your book? How many school days do you have to read this? And then will you read by chapters or by pages? So these are things that we just kind of have as a discussion as a big group. Um, we'll go through, we'll complete how many pages are in there. We'll kind of like skim through it a little bit. Talk about the different chapters in the book. We'll look at the very front of the book. So if I was looking at this one, We might look at the contents, talk about what's going on in here, look at how many chapters there actually are, flip to the back of the book, figure out how many pages, write all of those things down. Now, I know when I first did the this first packet, I wanted them to have it done 
um, before Thanksgiving. So I put the date before Thanksgiving break to be as a, you need to have this completed and turned in. Um, I think that gave them a good two weeks or so two or three weeks is generally pretty decent for a book club um depending on the size of the book that they're reading as well you may want to give give and take some time once we have looked through the book we've talked about some of the table of contents some of the chapters that are going on in there um and then we've determined how many pages and whether they want to read by page or by chapter then we can start breaking some of those down which is the next part of it um and here is what it looks like it says um pages chapters planning pages so they're going to give the dates and then the pages or chapters read and then the responding to reading part here so they have to give the dates that they're going to do it the pages and the chapters that they've read it and they don't fill all of this out in the very beginning like we don't go through and say oh well we're gonna have this done by this day Things happen, we're not gonna set all of that up. I just want the first like one or two meetings set up for them and then at that point, I will just check in on them once a week to see where they are and how, how they're progressing and then we can always change and make it fit for their needs. So um, let's say they have the first time that they wanna meet, they say, okay, well, today's Tuesday, why don't we say that we'll meet on Friday? So they're gonna put the Friday there they're gonna have chapters. Well, what chapters do they wanna read if they're doing reading for chapters? They'll say, let's read the first two chapters. So they'll have the first two chapters done and they'll write chapters one and two there. So when they meet, then they're going to discuss, um, they're going to sit down before that and they're gonna complete the first part of it. So they'll sit down independently, complete the, the plot exposition portion of it, which is the first part and they will come together as a group and they will review their answers, change anything that they need to change, discuss anything that they wanna discuss, and then that's pretty much it. And they set their plan for the next time. Um, I have to sit there and kind of guide them for the first few times because if I let them go free, they're never gonna get anything done. So I'll just tell you that. But that's just kind of how I get them started with book clubs. Once they do that, they're kind of on their own at that point. They're finishing the work independently. Last time I had them do it as a group um, where they sat down and they completed the whole page as a group and it just took so much time. Um, between, you know, kids were copying answers. It just was not what I wanted out of it. I wanted it to be more of a discussion. I wanted it to feel almost like a small group where you're just sitting around and you're just talking about the book, you know, and having this as more of a guiding of how what are we going to talk about during book clubs um during our book club time like when we're meeting together i don't want it to be where everybody's just kind of copying off their answers and one person's doing all of the work which is almost what i felt happened when they were doing it together so i'm gonna see how this works and kind of compare it and then i will let you guys know but that's kind of where i'm doing going so far so when they have already met and discussed this first page then they have to set the meeting for the next one so they'll look at the second page based off of what it is and this is more on character traits so they're talking about um from what point of view is the story from who is the um, character's perspective that they're giving more of what are some of the main important characters in the book and then they're going to give a character a trait and then give evidence to prove that from the actual text Again, they'll say, okay, well, why don't we meet next Wednesday? Let's read up till chapter, you know, read like four more chapters. And then they'll come back together and discuss this. And if they have to come back and add more to it, they're more definitely going to go back and add more to it, like later on within their book club time. So that's kind of how I'm setting it up. Um, that's how I go about kind of getting them started and getting them prepared for it and just talking about the book in general in the beginning um, Setting up some of those, you know, what are we predicting? What are some things that we you know, are you excited about? Um, and Getting them going with this. So that's pretty much how I'm doing it in the classroom I hope this guys I hope this helps you on how to set up book clubs um, If you want to look at this, I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you can go and check this out get it in my shop if you want to try to implement it i made this for the purpose of reviewing everything 
I didn't want it to be, oh, we're only going to look at characters or, oh, we're only going to look at plot. Um, and I was talking with a teacher, another teacher friend of mine, and she was like, I like how this works because you don't feel like you get to the end of whatever it is that you were focusing on and then you feel like you're done. Because with this, if you're looking at both summary and character traits, then you're having to read that entire text and you're not feeling like, oh, well, I'm gonna set you off and go free. You could even do this within a small group setting. So if you didn't want them to have it as a book club by themselves, independently then you could pull them as a small group and have this in small group and this be your guide to small group with an actual big chapter book text um so that's kind of the purpose for doing summary and character traits i feel like summary and character traits really encompasses a lot of the different standards that you are focusing on um especially like fourth third fourth fifth like sixth grade um sixth grade is more of that analyzing but fifth grade you could definitely use it because you're more a lot of it's like comparing and contrasting type deals so it's easy to use it within like the third through the fifth grade range so you could definitely do that within small group or have them do it independently as like a book club um whatever is kind of your choice at that point but I hope this helps. I hope you get a better idea of this. So I had a sweet little girl. I'm moving on. Sorry. <laughs> had a sweet little girl. Today it was um, kindness where they are doing kindness challenges for a little bit. And so one of the little girls took on the, ch the challenge was to write a letter. And she wrote me a letter and she put it on my laptop. And it just says, thank you for being the best teacher ever. You make school so fun and I'm always ready to learn. You always make me, you will always be there when we need help or when we are sad. I never want to leave fourth grade. You can put a smile on anyone's face. I hope you have an awesome other fourth grade classes. That is why you're the best teacher ever. You're a caring student. P.S. Never stop teaching. Girl, I will never, ever stop teaching just because of you. Sweet. Okay, so on the subject of like book clubs, let me tell you, I have never read so many singing books in my life. Like le I feel like I am all about the books right now. So what I am doing, because I know that I've read some of these books. I have not read all of these books. I'm going to go back through and reread all of these stinging books because I don't remember a lot of the events that happened. So here's how I'm going to remedy that. I'm going to keep a copy just for me, like my teacher copy. I'm going to put notes inside of them. And then I'm also going to create my own like book club packet to go along with this. So then when I store it, I'm just gonna store these two together inside, probably either a Ziploc, depending on where I end up putting them, or I may just, oops, sorry, or I may just end up sticking them like inside like this and then just storing them like, like that. Um, because I have got to be able to remember some of these things and I definitely do not remember it. Like as many books as I feel like sometimes I read, like I just, there's just no way that I'm going to remember every single detail. So that's another tip for you is that when you are doing book clubs and you're reading it, keep a copy just for you as your teacher copy. Create your own book club packet answers to help guide it. And then you can go back and reference it whenever you're doing it. And then that makes it easier on you so you don't have to reread it every single year. Because I feel like that's what I would end up doing is rereading it every single year. Okay, so let me show you my other stuff. So now here's what I have. I have all of my DRAs. These are kind of the main like copies. Then I have the ones that I've completed. Then I have the ones that I still need to finish with the actual like levels that they've been on. So, woo. So far, I am loving my setup too, by the way. I know that's a little scattered and I'm really, really sorry. I did end up deciding to keep that for a little bit. So whoever said to keep the small group, blue small group table, thank you. I am definitely going to keep it for a little bit only because it makes it, it gives me another seating area. And I feel like the kids who are doing book clubs when they are meeting, they can meet at that small group table and they really like that. Like they really like that. So that's what I'm doing. It's going to get hot in here because they've now turned the air conditioner off and uh, I need to go home. So I will hopefully talk to you guys 
in a bit. All right, packed up, I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm sorry if this video seemed a little bit short. I hope you guys got some really good ideas as far as look, 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 book clubs and how you can implement them inside of the classroom. Um, give me a shout out down below if you have already used book clubs. Um, are you using some type of packet? Do you have them go ahead and answer like the questions beforehand? Do you have them answer questions at all? Or do you actually have them answer it independently and come back and share it? So I would be very curious as to how you would do it. I'm even thinking of, whew, I'm gonna put this down. I am even thinking of having my book clubs as like a culminating, like finishing it, summative assessment type deal create some type of a presentation from it so that they can inform other students about the book so i'm still playing with the idea i really want them getting presenting and doing a lot more presentations because some of them are not quite getting there because they're not finishing a lot of their writing so that's my idea behind it let's see if it actually works so let me know down below, do you have your kids actually have like a final like project that they do with it as well? Um, and I'm curious to see if they actually answer questions before or during the actual book club meeting. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, subscribe. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.